Welcome to the guide that will show you how to add an employee with the new Sage One payroll. Previously, we used to add an employee like this. To add an employee, you clicked on the Add button that was available on every view and entered the information for the employee. After entering the employee's information, you clicked on the Save button and the employee was added to your employee roster. With the new look of Sage One Payroll, adding an employee is done like this. At the top of the screen, you will see the navigation bar. Click on Employee, Add New Employee. You will notice that all the information is kept compact, only separating it with three tabs, the Personal Details tab, the ETI tab, and the Hours and Rates tab. The first tab, the Personal Details tab, is the tab that you will use to capture all the employee's information. The tabs are divided into separate sections to cluster the information together. Do you see the orange line around some of the fields? These are the only mandatory fields for creating an employee, but please keep in mind that if you only complete these fields, the employee's IRP5 will be invalid and will not submit when you are doing your year-end and biannual submissions. We recommend that you enter as much information as possible to prevent having to come back and doing it again. After entering all the personal details, scroll down to the next section. This section requires you to enter the employee's physical or residential, postal and work addresses. A section requiring an emergency contact has also been added. The Employment Details section requires that you select the dates that the employee started on. This field is mandatory and very important to capture correctly as this will have an impact on the tax calculation of the employee. When you select the way the employee will be taxed from the drop-down menu, the first choice will default to the statutory tax tables, as this is the most commonly used method to tax employees. After entering all the information, select the next button at the bottom of the screen to go to the next tab, the ETI tab. On the ETI tab, you can enter the details as required, but this will only be necessary if the employee falls within the ETI requirements. If you need more information on ETI, email a support consultant on support at payroll.sage1.co.za. Click on Next or on the Next tab. The Hours and Rates tab is extremely important. The tab contains information that will be used to set up the rates of the employee on the employee's payslip. Be careful when you enter these details. After the new employee has successfully saved, all the information will be displayed on the screen. You will be able to edit, delete, or end the employment of the employees from this screen. All the employees will be listed on the left and can be sorted in different ways. You will only be able to delete an employee if you have not processed any amounts for the employee. And it's as easy as that. 
you have successfully created a new employee on Sage One Payroll.